Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and let's play a game called uh, Tool Brands Iconic Tool. What is it that that company makes that is just unmistakable? It's theirs. Anything that's like it, we just immediately think is a copy. Um, and there are a few that, you know, are like Kleenex. We just call them by the, by the name of, the, of their branded tool, um, but we call all the other tools the same thing. So, um, I'm not going to have something like WIS in this because most people can't name another WIS tool. There's a Aviation or Tin Snips or something like that, but what else? Same if I said like what Stabila's iconic tool would be a, a yellow level of any size. There is no one particular one. Kind of the same with Empire. Empire makes great stuff, but if I said, you know, name the, the iconic Empire tool, a level might be about as far as we get. They're, they do have some that are more popular, but they make all kinds of different instruments. So let's get to it. Uh, the way this is going to work is I'm going to give you the tool and uh, you're going to have a few seconds. You can either pause the video or just think, and then I'm going to give you my answer. Um, of course, your mileage may vary. I'd be curious in the comments. Go ahead and give me, uh, you know, your thoughts. But also, there's a bunch of tool brands at the end that I don't know what the iconic tool would be. So let's go ahead and get started. Here is the, the test. Uh, so here's the tool name, Vice Grip. So I'm going to pause. What do you think? Well, how about Vice Grips? Not a lot of choice in the matter. Uh, so you can see that some things are a little bit easier. Uh, let's go ahead and get to it with the real one. So number one. How about channel lock? So I think it's pretty obvious that the channel lock pliers are the winner here for their iconic tool. They do make all kinds of other stuff, but the channel lock name obviously has become synonymous with any tongue and groove plier. Let's try another one. How about the crescent? Okay. Well, I think that's pretty easily easy. The crescent wrench is another one. They're going to get harder, so hang on. The crescent wrench is a name that we use for about any adjustable wrench. So that's pretty easy. Now, let's try number three, Craftsman. What do you think? The Craftsman Tool Company. Well, at first I thought maybe it would be the raised panel wrench. That's pretty iconic. Um, but then I thought, you know what really it is? It's this screwdriver handle. It's, in fact, it's the, the slotted screwdriver handle because of the red and the clear. I think that is the iconic Craftsman tool, the screwdriver. And anything with this design and color, you just automatically think it's a Craftsman. There are other raised panel wrenches. So, let's go on to the next one. <clears throat> number three, or number four, how about Knipex? Well, I think that one's pretty easy. The Knipex Cobra, in particular, the 250 uh, millimeter version, that is the iconic Knipex tool. Unmistakable, everything else is a copy of this, so I think that was still pretty easy. How about uh, number five, Snap-on. What do you think? Well, when I first started thinking about this, I thought, well, obviously the ratchet, like this. That's a real popular tool, but is that the iconic one? And then I thought, you know what it is? It is the screwdriver. In this case, the orange handle. It's just, it's obvious what this is. Um, it's been around, and in fact, maybe even going to the black handled snap-on screwdriver that this would be the iconic snap-on tool probably the one that many people start off with uh, easily to easily identifiable um, but that's where i ended up if you got a, a different idea let me know but that to me is the iconic snap-on tool but of course this is the one that started the company with the snap-on sockets Next, uh, number six, DeWalt. What do you think? DeWalt has been around for a while, but what was, what is the iconic DeWalt tool? 
Well, I think it is the corded yellow drill. That's where, for most people, it all started. That was the thing that was most recognizable. That's what I think really put DeWalt on the map a long time ago. So that's my, my take there. I'm curious if you got another idea. I honestly couldn't come up with another one, but that's what I thought. So after DeWalt, number seven, uh, how about Stanley? What do you think? Well, for me, when I first thought of it, there's so many tools, um, but I was thinking the combination square. I remember as a kid, I always wanted a Stanley combination square. There it is. But there are a lot of companies that make these. What else? And in fact, I think the actual answer is the utility knife. This just, I mean, it's, it's almost Kleenex. It's almost called, you know, the Stanley kind of utility knife. Lots of people make things like this, but this is so ubiquitous. In fact, there are old ones that have been around, like this one here. Just ancient. It's been around forever. I think Stanley, it is the utility knife. Okay, the next one uh, for number uh, eight, Estwing. Now, when I first thought of this, I thought, well, that's easy. It's the framing hammer. You're going, huh? That's not what I thought. Well, maybe you were already on top of this. The framing hammer like this was just a classic back when Estwing did not make 1800 hammers. They made just a couple. This was, for a lot of people, the go-to. Um, but I think in reality, this right here, this is the leather washer, washered handle hatchet. I think that is the classic S-Wing tool, unmistakable. Everything else is a copy. Let me know if you, you think of something else. So, after S-Wing, let's see, that was number eight. Number nine, Milwaukee. Now, that was another one that I thought, well, kind of, the, of course, would be the drill, right? No, I think the classic tool, without a doubt, whoops, is the... Milwaukee Sawzall. In fact, the Sawzall is the Kleenex of these kind of reciprocating saws. People call the other brands Sawzalls. The old solid metal corded version was the one that, you know, maybe many people first saw, but I guess that's a pun. But anyway, I think that's, that's hands down the easiest iconic Milwaukee tool. All right, so what do we have left? Number 10, Klein. What would be the Klein, the iconic Klein tool? Well, Klein began with the lineman plier. But that, to me, is not always recognizable as a Klein. Instead, it is, I believe, this screwdriver handle. So kind of like Snap-on, um, it's and and craftsman the screwdriver handle that Klein makes with this particular color of acetate and the rubber sleeve over the top of it that's Klein anything else is a copy of a Klein so to me that's their iconic tool so that is the 10 that I came up with but there are some others that I'm not sure about um, what would be the iconic rigid tool I can't narrow it down to just one. I'm guessing the pipe wrench, but let me know. Um, is there an iconic Mac tool? There are a lot of Mac tools, but is there one? I don't run in the Mac circles very much, but is there a Mac tool that's the iconic thing, kind of like with Snap-on? PB Swiss? Would this be it? Or is there something else that would be their iconic tool? How about Lennox? What all do they make? Is there something that pops into your mind that is the, the iconic Lennox tool? Weeha or Viha? Uh, screwdrivers, pliers, do they have an iconic tool? Something that, that you recognize? Now I might be totally missing something here, so please help me out. Um, ideal. Do they have an iconic tool? 
I don't know. I have a bunch of ideal tools, but none of them scream, this is our thing. You're going to mistake your, uh, you know, some other company's tool for your ideal one. Um, kind of along that same lines, what about NWS? Is there an iconic NWS tool? To me, they're all, you know, the same. Um, possibly with uh, Vera. I assume maybe this screwdriver handle, but it comes in a bunch of different colors. This might be it, the, their iconic tool. I'm going to have to lean pretty heavily on this, but they make a ton of different stuff, so let me know. Um, how about SK? Now, SK tools, that's kind of all over the place. I just did a video on it. This, in fact, this was the SK wrench that this 10 millimeter that I was kind of bummed didn't have the USA branding. I was expecting something more along this line. You see the difference? What's missing on the top wrench? But anyway, SK, what would the SK, the iconic SK tool be? Uh, for a lot of people, the color would be iconic. You know, that's SK's color. A lot of tool companies have their colors. But which tool? Don't, I don't know. Um, how about right? Here's a big right crescent wrench. Well, what do you think? What would right, right, the right tool iconic tool be? Um, a regular wrench? Something else? I don't know, sometimes a spud bar or some kind of a, an iron working tool is kind of what pops into my mind, but... I don't know. And then lastly, of course, there's plenty more, but I'm going to end with this one. Park tool. What is the classic park tool? Is there one? Is there something that just everybody would start out with? Or that's if you're going to have a park tool, that's the one you have. Or everything else seems like a copy of park tools. Anyway, there's the guessing game. Go ahead and jump in. Tell me uh, what I've missed or if you've got something else that you think is actually much more iconic than what I suggested or any of these extras here um, because I would like to put together a second version of this video where, you know, we might have the iconic Weehaw tool. Maybe I don't have it. Maybe I don't know what it is, but I'd be curious what your thoughts are. Hope you had some fun with this. Anyway, with that, Doc out.